Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at the Untied States Capitalist playing cards from Ember Waves. Now, yes, you heard that right. I said Untied, not United States. It's actually a play on words to signify the United States uh, cutting ties of injustice and bigotry that's kind of made up a large part of our nation's history. And so I think the designer, Nate, uh, I think he would make his point to say that the entire reason why the Untied States brand is in existence is just to be a symbol of acceptance and inclusion of all people, no matter what their background is. Ember Waves, the creator of this, uh, his name is Nate. Uh, Ember Waves, he is also a musician. He's also a graphic designer. He's been in the industry for well over 15 years. Now, this was Nate's first Kickstarter campaign, and I'll have to admit, when the Kickstarter launched initially, uh, I was a little bit skeptical as to whether he would reach his goal or whether uh, the backers would ever see their decks. Nate totally, totally delivered. He totally proved me wrong, and we're all glad he did because uh, this is an awesome deck. Couple of things, uh, Untied States, that is the overarching brand. Uh, this deck is called the Capitalists. Uh, it says Untied States across the front and Capitalists right there on the bottom. And it does say United States playing cards. Uh, you definitely get a feel of like currency, American you know, money, uh, the art that would be involved in that. And then the back design of course has the Capitol building, uh, Capitalists, and uh, it's the back design of the cards. It says Untied States across the top and there is no tuck seal, which is nice, I hate tuck seals. And the bottom has some ad copy about Ember Waves and Untied States. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards were printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they do come on their retail stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion finish and if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish you can click the link below in the description. The back design is a mirrored image of the Capitol building with a, again, a frame that would represent currency. Uh, he does have one color in there, kind of a burgundy uh, blood red that kind of allows all the rest of it to pop and it is a two-way image and it definitely fits the theme of this deck. You're also going to see on the back design there's a little cigar band uh, image. And what that does is it ties the deck together uh, when they're in a spread or a fan. With this deck you're going to get two extra cards. Uh, you are going to get a double backer for magic, which is always nice. And you're going to get an ad card for his new campaign, The Sword. The Capitalist deck also comes with two original jokers. It's a mirrored image of our nation's bird, the eagle. Uh, one of them is just the eagle by itself. And the second one is a card reveal that contains both the Nine of Hearts and the Six of Hearts. These cards have giant pips on them. Uh, it's very visible from a distance. And of course you can see that the pip and indices are also framed out in the corners. Now the indices in the corner, the suits are very, very, very small. If I take my glasses off, I can't even tell the difference between a spade and a club. Uh, it would have been nice to have those just a little bit bigger for gameplay, uh, but they're still pretty cool. You can see the backdrop there. There's a watermark uh, behind all the cards. And it again has this uh, cigar band image. So that looks really good in a spread. All of the cards have those big chunky pips except the tens, which is kind of odd. Uh, you do normally expect to see pips on a 10 card. Uh, whenever you don't see them, you expect it to be uh, a court or a royal, but all the 10 cards are made to look like $10 bills. Your black courts are all uh, presidents and statesmen, people from history. Uh, they are all shown as you would remember them from either a history book or currency. The red courts are also people from history, but they have a black bar over their faces to hide their identity. Nate has also put an original pit placement on all these cards, and so your cards uh, don't exactly look like the standards that you would be familiar with, and so if you don't want to sit there and count, you can always look in the corner to see uh, what the denomination is. Well, that is our review for the Capitalists from Untied States. If you'd like to learn more, you can follow them on Instagram at Untied States Playing Cards. And you can also visit Ember Waves at emberwaves.net. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.